Rachel Holt for Nesson.com here with Jeff Schwartz, NFL offensive lineman. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. You're also an author. I am an author, yes. Can you yes. pop Eat up this Schwartz. book? Yes. And you have a great That's picture a, of yourself I in do. boxers eating turkey. Yes, and so my brother and I are the first Jewish players in NFL, excuse me, first Jewish brothers in NFL since 1923. So it's a book about our journey and we love food. Like all our big events happen around food. So we have recipes in here as well. So that's why I think him holding a football and me eating a turkey leg are about perfect. Because if, if you look as well, he is looking at me at, with the stain, which is kind of our right. relationship in general. Right. So um, it's uh, it's a fun, it's fun, and you can you know you can find it on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, and uh, people seem to really enjoy it so far. Is it I, the holiday card? I don't know. I didn't get my parents' holiday card because this is now this has been in the works for a while. It came out in September. Um, but I know that on my family holiday card, it was not on the cover. Okay. Yeah. Well, you write a lot, and you've been writing for SB Nation. And in an article you recently wrote, you called the Patriots the forgotten team. Yes. What made you say that? Well, as soon as the championship, excuse me, the Super Bowl games were set, you go on Twitter, social media, and everyone's talking about how the Falcons are going to win, their high-powered offense can't be stopped. Uh, and I feel like we're just forgetting the Patriots are in their seventh Super Bowl in 15 years. Like, it's remarkable that they're just kind of the forgotten team. It's so, everyone's so used to the Patriots being in the Super Bowl that it's like, well, the Falcons are going to win. And I don't see that happening. It, does, it makes no sense to me how you could overlook uh, the Patriots and Belichick and Brady and all the things they've done well in Super Bowls. You focus on their mantra, do your job. Yes. What is it about this team? How do they carry that out so well and be so successful? Well, so that's from Belichick, and he enforces it. So a lot of coaches talk about things, and they say we're going to do it this way and that way, but he just will cut guys, and he's going to get rid of guys. And I think the next example will be Gronk. If the Patriots win the Super Bowl, Gronk's going to be gone, and that's just the way Belichick does things. So People are not going to want to hear that. They're not that. going to want to hear that, but I don't see why they would keep him. He's going to want more money. He's a position that doesn't command a lot of money, and they can fill his void with the slot receiver, Hogan, with a guy like that. So you know, he gets rid of Collins and Mankins and Chandler Jones, and he just – treats players as commodities so that, that accountability is always there so players think hey if I screw up I'm not going to play next week he, he did with with uh, Malcolm Floyd uh, you know against the Texans dropped two passes had a pass interference he didn't play against the Steelers so that accountability makes players buy into his system so you're predicting the Patriots to win this one how do you think the game's going to go so I think it'll start out slow I believe all Patriots Super Bowls the last six have started out really slow like three nothing zero zero after the first quarter that's probably the same and then there'll be a lot of scoring and I think the Patriots at the end will kind of push the Falcons aside. I think they, they'll find a way to slow the Falcons. If you look at the history of number one offense in the Super Bowl, it's not pretty. The number one defense normally wins, and I think that, that holds steady this week. One of the big reasons for the Patriots' success this year is Garrett Blunt. Yes. Over 1,100 rushing yards in the regular season, and a fellow former yes, Oregon, Oregon Duck. Yes, Oregon Duck. Have you had a chance to reach out to him? I have not. We did not play together. I've only been back to Oregon once since I left, okay. which is in 2007 now. I have a new staff there, too, so I don't even have really much affiliation. I root for them all the time, but I have not um, talked to Garrett. But, you know, 18 touchdowns in an era with so much passing is pretty remarkable. So they really use him well in the goal line, and, they do a good job of mixing and matching their personnel. Safe to say you're rooting for him in this one? I don't really root. I, I, I root for my picks to be right. So I, I root for the Patriots to win the Super Bowl. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Well, enjoy the game. Thank Thanks for stopping by. Thank you.